Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Guess what? Whoa, we got some bank rolls. Uh, and might I add, probably from the most weirdest, unlikeliest of sources, and it's all thanks to my my wife, out of all people, um, that did something pretty out of the box and crazy. Um, she actually utilized Facebook Marketplace to obtain people's piggy banks. And out of the kindness of a lot of these folks' hearts, they actually rolled them for me. So that's pretty cool. But we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're going to go through $140 in customer wrapped quarters. And I have over here, I don't know if you can see it, I have another, say, I don't know, 60 bucks worth of um, just assorted other denominations I'll do in a separate video. Uh, more, more of them are dimes. Not exactly sure what we'll find in these, uh, but hey, you know, um, bank rolls is bank rolls. It doesn't matter how you get it. So uh, what are we looking for in these? Okay, I think that we've seen quite a few of these to know that we're looking for the West Point uh, 2019s, 2020s. Those are still worth a few bucks. Uh, varieties, errors. Uh, I'm always pulling out the 1983s, whether they're Phillies and Denvers, um, because I assemble full rolls of those, and I actually have someone that buys those for about double face. So um, that's my own little thing on the side. A little bit tougher date, especially in the highest of grades. For example, I have one that I found in a roll probably a few weeks ago that is in pretty nice condition. Uh, I mean, those are really tough to find. Uh, this one's a Denver, but the Philadelphia ones are a little bit tougher, uh, especially in that particular grade. We're going to go through these. So, as always, I got to go ahead and uh, go, you know, do the YouTube thing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that good old bell for instant notifications. Let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? And uh, let's see if we get anything uh, interesting. So, Zoom in a shade. All right, first look of what we have here. So, yeah, if you guys want to, I, I would say that's probably the best thing that you could do for yourself is to look for just unconventional ways of obtaining bankrolls. I mean, if you're really hard up, kind of like I am, because I haven't even um, had any success whatsoever of obtaining bankrolls uh, in quantity, uh, then this this is a a great alternative method for sure. So hard enough to find these nitrile gloves, man. They're starting to disappear off the shelf. Uh, fortunately, toilet paper is still in pretty good quantity. But anyways, yeah, we're coming up to the end of the National Park series here. I believe this is the last year. Uh, there you go, Hawaiian volcanoes, which has uh, probably the distinction of being the lowest minted national park quarter in the whole series. So that's kind of uh, cool. There you go. That's always been my favorite design, by the way. But um, yeah, last year of the national park orders, you know, had a good run. I think, uh, I think we're all getting ready to move on away from the multi-year series of coins and just getting back to something that's more static, I think. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I know I am. Uh, just a good old regular design, you know, something that's uh, that's innovative, cutting edge, I guess. I mean, that's a good looking 94 right there. I've seen better. I've seen better, that's for sure. But anyways, yeah. Uh, let's see, was it 65 or 67 that has a doubled die possibility? Uh, might be 67. I'll pull, pull these aside or no, it's 66. See, I was doubly wrong. 66. So we'll put those aside. You never know what you're going to find. We come across our first 83. So let's see how many of those we can find. So far, our tally is up to one. But yeah, and I'll go quicker as we go uh, because we do have 14 rolls and you know, if you had to listen to me speak for anything more than 10 minutes, you guys will grow tired, um, as will I. 
So, some pretty decent looking coins in here, you know. Um, you know, uh, coin roll hunting quarters is uh, the lesser of two evils, I suppose. If you were going to coin roll anything between um, nickels and half dollars, probably quarters would be the thing. Um, still a chance to find silver if you're lucky. You know, they're coming up less and less and less each year. The, um, just the overall seeding of all the new quarters, um, has really diluted down that chance. I mean, it was tough before the state quarter program, but when you start adding in the, um, national parks, then, you know, that's a different story. So anyways. Uh, we'll pull away the 71Ds as well. There's a double to die that could be on there. Uh, cherry Picker's Guide variety type. I know, I know, you guys are envious of me. Whether or not I come away here with uh, something extraordinary remains to be seen, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, this will give you an idea of what coin roll hunting on the West Coast is like because there's a lot of Denver minted coins. Not as many errors as you folks there on the East Coast. Um, you know, you guys are so lucky. So I'm playing around with the lighting because I, you know, I, I don't want it too, too reflective, too in your face. So it's 65. There's our first bicentennial, the earliest version of the state quarter. Oh, excuse me. So we got a bicentennial. Yeah, if there's any um, 1980s coins that look pretty good, um, you know, like Mint State, maybe someone had dumped an older, uh, um, older, uh, you know, maybe had uh, dismantled a Mint Set. I'm trying to figure out a Mint Set or perhaps an album, I'm trying to figure out what to say. Um, you know, th those might be worth looking through as well. Chickasaw, 65 right there. Still got some some pretty good looks to it, but yeah, we'll let someone else enjoy that one. All right, so we're as of today, we're officially a week out from uh, from Christmas. So let's see, that's a Kansas. Do we have an In God We Rust? No, you can see the T there. Ugh. I knew that was gonna happen. Jeez. Who would have thought, right? But yes, we are officially one week away from Christmas already. And um, yeah, it's just crazy that how, how quickly this, this month has gone. Um, I, I mean, really, <laughs> could you have expected anything else different with... You know, just the entire country just being at a standstill when it comes to, like, general life. You know, there's another bicentennial. Let's see if we can find a DDO FS101 there. Uh, so we got Philadelphia. Uh, Kisachi. Kisachi-san. Right. Grab the next little batch here. So we'll figure maybe about half an hour for this video, uh, give or take. We'll, we'll see how quickly we could uh, get through it for you guys. Um, yeah, make sure you look for little cuds and stuff on the Philadelphias. Uh, that one there is pretty well beat up. It looks like it was... Um, so that's a type of coin right there. Probably that was subjected to maybe some heat. Or maybe it was a coin that was in the ground for a while and then someone tried cleaning it. But you could just see the porosity on there. But also you could see the bubbling, which I think it might be heat damaged. Um, like being in a fire or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, the Harper's Ferry Quarters, especially the Phil Philadelphia's. I got Butterfingers today. Yeah, let's see if we could uh, change that. And um, yeah, the Harper's Ferries, these ones right here in Philadelphia. You want to make sure you look out for the doubling in these little window bays right in the middle okay these are the the class nine doubled dies 
that you want to look for. And there's a whole bunch of them. There's someone actually on eBay that sells them for like five to ten bucks a piece. Does really, really well on them. So talk about opportunity there. Uh, he sells probably maybe six to ten of them um, a week, which isn't too bad, right? I, I'd say there's probably worse things. It's a dog hair. Hmm. Husky hair. I know whose husky that is. Ours. Uh, Ellis Island. Man, it looks new as, uh, as if it was struck yesterday. Crazy. But, yeah, I don't need any of these um, national parks. I've, I, I'm kind of down. I, I'm ready to move on from, from that. And uh, I know a lot of people are as well. And another thing that's going to be moving on this year are the West Point Quarters. I believe they are going to go into a different direction for seeding some sort of rarity type coin. Now, that's a good looking Mississippi right there. See the edge is still pretty new. Denver. But, you know, the, um, the West Point Quarters is going to be coming to an end. The, oh, that's one I haven't seen in a while. El Yunque. You butchered it, Sean. Uh, I probably did. Yeah, there's some pretty good, like, older National Park quarters. A few of the uh, state quarters look to be in pretty decent shape. Uh, yeah, there's Georgia right there. You got Georgia on your mind, guys. There we go. Nevada. That one looks especially good. That one's been pretty well. Yeah, see, look, it's Philadelphia. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, I don't know why. Well, you know, I do know why because I um, went to high school in Nevada. <laughs> graduated from there. My family still lives in the area. So there you go. Close to home, I guess. Close to home. See, this Minnesota is pretty decent. I mean, if you were putting together with your kids, and it's never too late to do this, uh, an album of either National Park or, oh, there's another 83. Go ahead and put that one aside. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, if you were going to put together um, a set, you want a little nice collection like this, you know? Uh, it looks like all these quarters probably came from the same batch, and they did. They came from the same person. Um, probably, you know, just been hoarded over time, and I don't know. You, you never know people's stories when it comes to these old, old, uh, or maybe not old, but with these, uh, these rolls. Because there's a pretty nice, healthy mix of Philadelphia's in here, too. Uh, compared to what I'm normally used to seeing, of course. So, you know, kind of makes you wonder. There we go. Shenandoah. See, that one's in pretty good shape, too. I mean, look, look how bright these edges are. That's remarkable. Uh, great sand dudes. 2014, I mean, a six-year-old coin. Hawaii Volcanoes, that's in good shape. You know, was that Denver? Yeah, Denver coin right there. Uh, Fort McHenry. Uh, what is this one? Yeah, Great Sand Dunes again, and another one. If I wouldn't know any better, I'd say that this lot of coins was from like 2013, 2014. Which would be awesome. I, I mean, you know. <laughs> it would be awesome if you were into it. See, look at that. Shenandoah, 2014. Look how bright the edges are. Wow. Yeah, so someone's, so, someone uh, dumped a whole bunch of these. Mount Rushmore. Pretty decent shape, you know. Pretty decent shape. There's another great sand dunes. Bombay Hook. It was at Delaware, right? 2015. That's got some stuff on the front of the coin, whatever it may be. There's another one. That's more like it. Yeah. Yeah, that one's more like it. Yeah, if you wanted to put together yeah, Saratoga, 2015. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I actually had the, the dogs barking, so I wasn't sure if we had a package or a company coming over or something like that. But anyways, 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and commence, if we will. And what I'll probably end up doing is cutting the video at certain points uh, in, of the video um, and just rolling through some of the coins because there's like eight rolls left and, you know, it, it'll help expedite things. I could do a nice recap at the end. I think you guys will appreciate. But, yeah, so far, just a bunch of really nice 2013s, 14s eras era of national park quarters um looks to be just kind of like a paradise of 13s and 14s so i haven't found anything like new new you know not nothing 2020 2018 19 uh i would say probably the newest that we've seen in this video up to this point has been 2015 so this is definitely a little bit older collection of coins. Um, uh, 1986. Had to do a double take there for a second. But we're filling up this tray pretty quickly here. Although if I did come across a really nice, say, Hawaii National Park quarter, I'll probably pull that one out. I already pulled one out. Uh, it's always good to have a few of those. Uh, there's a homestead. Denver, though. Homestead has the double pump handle um, doubled die, which is really, really attractive. Uh, those were only on the Philadelphias, though. So, it's down to the last little bit of this roll. We've gone through six rolls so far in this video. I actually um, finished up the rest of the roll uh, before my dogs went off. So... Yeah, when, when quarters are coming up dead, they are coming up dead. I mean, there's really not a whole lot else to to find in quarters if all you're getting is just clad, you know. Um, the double to dies and things of that nature are naturally occurring in, you know, those earlier dates. Uh, 66, 71, um, a few of the other dates. But when you get into the later dates, uh, there are few and far between as far as what you could find. Uh, there are the 2004D um, high and low leaf Wisconsin quarters. Those are also in there. But there was also a few um, cuds, die, cud die breaks that you could find. However, those are more in the Philadelphia minted coins than anything else. So, uh, 74. I don't know what's been cleaned. You can just tell Puerto Rico. Cool, it's got a nice circulated cameo look to it. Interesting. Some more great dunes. Uh oh, dog's going off again. Someone might be home. One one of my kids probably just got home from work. But that's usually what will set the dogs off. When one of them get comes home, uh, let's see a Delaware with some roller marks on the back. You see the the round line there. Pretty crazy, huh? Old piggy bank from 2014 era. <laughs> oh man, that just it's crazy. All right, so we got, uh, including this one that I'm pulling out right now, we got seven rolls left. I, I'd probably just, just go for it. Um, yeah, so. Shenandoah. Yeah, the lighting just seems funky right now. I just, I don't know. It seems too yellow or washed out. I, I need a ring light. It's probably a ring light here after the first of the year. I am slowly starting to improve the quality of my videos. You know, I got the new microphone, which, by the way, if you guys are looking for a cheap microphone for if you're like a, um, a streamer or, you know, you're into gaming, uh, try out one of those ones they sell at Target, um, the Yeti. Yeti Blues, uh, they are, that, that's the one I use. Uh, my wife actually got it for me for Christmas that I was able to use. Um, ooh, White Mountain, I hadn't seen one of those in a while. That I was actually able to use 
earlier than Christmas. Uh, she's like, you know what? You're you're gonna have so much use for this. Why don't you just go ahead and take it and use it right now? I'm like, okay. You're not gonna twist my arm, that's for sure. Um, it's worked out. I mean, you, you guys have enjoyed the new microphone. Um, seventy four. It's pretty decent, but it's got the roller lines. Yeah, you guys have enjoyed the the, the new audio, uh, which is cool. It feels like I'm doing a podcast, you know, which is nice. Pretty, pretty good stuff right there. So, yeah, no, many thanks for the, uh, the great comments about the audio. Uh, right now, I'm doing this video on my phone, which the quality of the audio is fine. You know, uh, it's only when I'm doing work on the computer and using video editing software and all that great stuff. Yeah, you know, we're starting to fill up here. When I'm using the video editing software, then that's when I need something better because all this time I've been using the crappy microphone on the um, computer. Just the naturally, you know, installed version on there. So, yeah, we, we have uh, certainly moved on to bigger and better technology here in the Blue Ridge Silverhound Household. Ooh, what is that? Nail polish, perhaps? And there's our third bicentennial. We'll check that out after the video. If there's anything wor no, uh, worthwhile, I'll let you guys know. For sure. All right. Are you guys doing any last minute things before, uh, before Christmas sets? Um... I, I know we're living in different and very extraordinary times right now, just in how we're, I don't know, just, that's a nice homestead. That's probably the newest quarter, 2015. I don't think I've seen any quarter newer than that. That's interesting. This is a five-year-old uh, piggy bank <laughs> um, collection. Uh, Great Smoky Mountains. That's a good one, too. It's got some spots there. Uh, I know that we have a little bit more shopping to do. Um, I'm ready to just be done because I'm I'm not the shopper type, you know, uh, and neither is my wife. So we're just uh, go about the paces. Uh, you know, we'll get what we need in a slightly misaligned eye there. Not really anything substantial. There's a great basin. There you go. All right, we got five rolls to go, ladies and gents. Five more. Uh, I'll probably do this roll, cut the video, and then do a do a recap of the what we found, if there's anything that we found. But you know, certainly I want to thank you guys for joining in on the Blue Ridge Silverhound. Depending on how this whole venture goes with picking up coins or uh, coins, uh, picking up um, there you go, it's misaligned die right there. See that? See how fat the top top rim is, and uh, it's actually cutting right at the bottom of the date. There's actually just enough uh, enough meat on the bones right there. Huh, that's pretty cool, huh? That's a keeper. So if we flip this coin around, the back should be perfectly centered. And it sure is. You got a full rim. Not bad. I'll take it. Uh, I, I think that that would be a coin that you could sell for possibly 5 to 10 bucks right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we look for. But yeah, see that thicker, thicker edge right there? It looks like it's a it's got a doubled rim almost, but that that's a misaligned die coin if I ever saw one. And guess what? It's a Philadelphia, which is where typically you're gonna find most of your mint errors is on Philadelphia struck coins. Um, yeah, I would say that's a pretty decent find. You play your cards right, that's a five to ten dollar coin all day long, you know. And when I mean play your cards right, you know, take good pictures and, you know, list it like you're, you're a pro. Um, that's always important, that's for sure. Okay, so there's a 2016 Shawnee. That one looks pretty good. Man, we're coming up with some pretty decent coins here. Um, nothing that I would say that you could retire on. They're probably worth at the most 50 cents a piece. Um, especially if you're going to sell them to someone that just needs to fill an album and they want decent looking coins like that Cumberland Gap right there. So we got some 16s in there. 
No 17s. We have some 15s and 13s and 14s. So we have a nice, nice general kind of like mix of the, uh, there's another 83. I'm going to go ahead and put that one aside. Okay. Yeah, Delaware is, uh, it's been a while since I found a spitting, spitting horse. It would be on the Philadelphia. Um, I don't think I see the spitting horse. The spitting horse is simply just a die crack that goes right into Caesar Rodney. Um, but yeah, that's Philadelphia right there. Okay, moving on. Here's another 83. That's our fourth one, actually. Uh, Alaska. There's another 66. Let's see if we can find a double to die there. That would just make my day. It's a very rare one, too, even in low grades. That's a coin that you could, uh, I would probably send off to one of the graders just so I could get a clean grade on it and then you could sell it. As opposed to trying to sell it raw. I mean, you could sell it raw conceivably. You know, it's a coin that's going to be worth about two to three hundred bucks uh, on the secondary market. I, I think there's going to be a little bit more of an attractive um, aspect to it if you, if, at the very least, you send it to Annex. Um, so that way, you know, it's going to be something that nobody else would, in hindsight, have to do. Because um, it is a just a very, very rare variety in itself. Ozarks. Harper's Ferry. That is a Denver. Okay, let's see. We got our next Denver Bicentennial. Keep in mind, the Denver Bicentennials are the ones that would normally have the um, FS-101 on it. Uh, I actually have one slabbed. Um, that I actually bought from one of uh, Frederick Douglass right there. That's a 17. So we have a 17, ladies and gentlemen. There's another Harper's Ferry. Yeah, uh, getting back to the, uh, the DDO FS-101, I actually bought it from, um, from one of the guys that I know in the community. Um, great, great guy. He found a number of them, and he, you know, it just so happens that, you know, a um, chance encounter and then I said hey you know what and he actually ended up sending like three or four of them to PCGS they all came back I ended up buying the middle one the um, AU50 I believe um, and I love it that, that coin is gonna go to the grave with me that that's that's how how much I love that double to die um, and the coin, you know, the coin is probably worth four or five hundred bucks, you know, give or take, somewhere around there. Um, I know the prices have fluctuated over the years. I, I think I think it's gone up um, by a good deal because that's just the market right now. Uh, coins have been performing really well right now, so. All right, so here's what I'll do. I will cut the video, and then we'll do a recap of everything decent that I've found. Okay, uh, I think the highlight so far is that misaligned die quarter. Uh, really cool. I'll take it. And we will call it a day. All right, thanks, guys. All right, guys, here's a quick little recap of what we've found. Nothing substantial, but I was actually able to come away with seven 1983s. Uh, so, again, I do assemble full rolls of these, and I, I sell these in quantity for about double face value. All right, so we, and it's a combination of Denver and Phillies. Okay, so we did find some of the Drummer Boy Bicentennials, uh, one Philadelphia and five Denvers. No double dies on any of these, and these are all going back into the stack, ready to go back to the bank. So that's what we got there. So we did find a couple interesting coins. Now this first one I found off camera in the batch. It's just a 1982P Philadelphia coin that was struck with some seriously 
deteriorated dies. I mean, just take a look at the, uh, the obverse of this 82 right here. Uh, I mean, compared to the reverse, um, just crazy. You can see all the, the die flow lines and the weakness and uh, the motto and everything like that. Um, just look around the mint mark too right there. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Deteriorated dies. Uh, not really a huge secondary market premium, but I do know of people that have actually marketed, the, marketed these pretty effectively where they were able to obtain five to 10 bucks for coins like this, even though they're neither a variety or an error. However, if you're looking for errors, we did come across a misaligned die, uh, 1982P. Uh, ironically, we two coins that were halfway interesting are Philadelphia coins. Um, so this one has a misaligned obverse die. Okay, the reverse is perfectly centered. That's a nice little nice little find out of this treasure trove of Facebook marketplace rolls. Um, estimate five bucks or so uh, for this one. Um, you know, you can see the bottom of the date cut off on this one. The bottom part of the rim is completely obliterated because of the misalignment but there you go that's going to be your significant hit from this batch of 140 bucks i'll do another video with the dimes nickels and pennies so that'll do sir i want to thank you guys again for your support of blue ridge silverhound i'm your host sean don't forget to like share subscribe hit that good old bell for instant notification my apologies about the two dogs that i have going crazy uh, i think even they know it's almost christmas all right, and that's going to go ahead and do it. You guys take care. Have a great rest of your Friday, and I will see you on the next video.